Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review of a straightener, Remington 1 inch flat iron anti-static technology. Anyways, long story short, my straightener that I love, love, love broke right around Christmas. And so I've been kind of on the hunt for a straightener and I was like, well, why not do some reviews and help other people whose straighteners may have worked broken and they need to find a new one. So. I'm gonna go wash my hair, blow dry it, I'll be back to show you, um, I'll demonstrate it and whatever, but we'll be back and I'll let you know how I feel about this straightener. Okay, wash my hair, I, what I do is I wash it twice and then I use this stuff I found at the Dollar Tree, it is amazing, you leave it in your hair for three minutes and then it's like a three minute treatment. So because I don't wash my hair every day, when I straighten my hair, I make sure I use this stuff. Um, like I said, I found it maybe like I've been using it for a couple years and I like it a lot. Dollar Tree. Go win. Um, so I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I will try out my straightener. I'm just trying to show you how curly, which is why I also had filmed previously to show you how curly my hair is and how well the straightener may or may not work. All right dried my hair as you can see obviously it's still a little fluffy but got a lot of some of the curls out um so now i'm going to open it it says there is a 30 second um 30 second heat up so as soon as i get this open we can try that out I had posted on my Facebook to see if like anybody else had like a recommendation for a cheap straightener because um, obviously I just am cheap. This is my old straightener. Uh, I don't even know where I got it. It says professional steam styler. It's about all I know about it. Um, put like water in there. I did that sometimes. Anyways, because I have a bad habit of like curling it, like wrapping the cord around. The wires got messed up, and that's why it doesn't work anymore. So, I'm on hunt for a new one. I had a couple people suggest some of them. One of the ones that they suggested was like $100, and I was like, mm, not spending $100. Um, another one was like a... I can't remember why I wasn't sold on it. I think maybe because of what, the, what it was. I don't typically like ceramic yes this one is ceramic but we'll see somebody else had suggested one off of amazon that was titanium which i do like titanium um so anyway anyways so we got power on and then we're gonna turn it up to 450 we're gonna start timing it and then we'll see how it does and what i'm gonna do is i'll straighten a little bit on camera and then since I watch my phone while I'm straightening my hair, you'll get to see after. But, yeah. But, anyways, I think the reason I didn't want the one on Amazon was because I didn't want to have to wait to order it. And I was at Walmart today waiting for my daughter's prescription. So I was like, I'll check out the straighteners. And then this one had pretty good reviews. Um, so that's why we're trying it out. It's been 30 seconds. I don't know if it, like, no, it's still not done. But because I have thick or hard hair to style, 430 to 450, but it goes down to 310 if you have fine and easy to straighten hair, which I don't. As you can see, it's gray and thick. So I'll start sectioning my hair while we are waiting for it. start out strong when I'm blow drying my hair for the most part like it's pretty decent and then I get lazy and then I rely on my straightener to finish it but still heating up so I'll be back when it's all done all right we are all heated up so also another thing I like to use when I'm straightening my hair but mine is gone um, is a straightening comb where it like clamps yeah 
really miss mine. So I have to use a brush, my wet brush. All right. Not too shabby. I'm going to go against the root a little bit better. I don't have to look at the camera. Yeah, I think that's pretty decent. I mean, I know wearing black is not super best idea, but and then I'll go up against the root. Okay, I like it. I'll be back after and show you or tell you what I think. Okay, I am all done. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, obviously comparing it to my old one, I guess my old one that this one will do. It was only $20. So, sure, great deal, whatever. Um, and the other thing that I do with my straight edge is I'll use it to like curl it. So I was going to test that on camera. Um, but I do know that sometimes when I straighten it and then try to curl it, it doesn't work that great until it's had a chance to do like, anyways, we're still trying. That was a big, that was a big strand. So overall, I like it. It is not as big as my other one, so my hands are like, my hands not used to how small it is. So I just felt like it ended up being okay. Now my hair looks goofy. Um, this, like I said, was my old one. This one's my new one. They look about the same size, but this one will feel thinner. It is a little thinner based on, I'm sure you can't tell. But I like it. I think I'll try it out again a couple more times. Um, but yeah, I think if you're in the market for a straightener, that is one inch. They also had a one and three fourths inch, I believe. Um, then not a bad price for the straightener. So I do think, let me turn it off and unplug it. My old cord was a little longer by a lot. <laughs> Here's where, oh, myself. here's where the new cord ends on my old one. So I still had about another three feet, but that's fine. Um, yeah, that is my review. I like it. Not a bad price. Would recommend. Thanks for joining. All right, bye.